welcome to this new talk about a video so today we're gonna talk about the last month of the year which was 2021 and it was called ruby treasure the change have been there for five months and as you can guess with the name of the challenge this one is developed in ruby i'm super glad because this is our first challenge in ruby we recently had the new um runner ruby which means that now you're able to do and cut some ruby challenge as i told the last time if you want to develop your challenge feel free can contact permits or myself and it would be a pleasure for us to put it into the next month's dojo so as usual we're gonna have a look quickly at the settings port of the challenge so we can see that the find name flag variable is defined with flag underscore and the result securandom.x and finishing by .txt which means that we're not gonna be able to guess and know what the name of the file will be so it could be kind of hints to guess that we will have, for example, to have a common ejection or something like that. There is all the challenges looking quickly. You can see that we can buy some Ruby stuff. For the main part of the challenge, we can see that we have a definition of a function called validate file taking a file name, which is our user input. In this function, we can see that we have a regex matching A to Z, uppercase and lowercase, zero to nine, and the score and carrots. After that, we have a condition taking the result of the execution of the valid file function. If it's valid, it will directly define the variable content with id.read, which is a special method in Ruby that we will see just after that. Trying to read the file name, uh, we define if this one is valid, and if it's not, it will read the collection.erb1. And the last line is basically used to render the given page of the application. So we're gonna firstly have a look to the regex port. This is sample locally is basically taking the exact same um, regex as the challenge so i'm gonna define some test into the payloads uh, variable to yeah to test the regex and see how this regex is super secure so if the payload variable is defined with the string test you can see that it will be valid because it's matching the regex with a to z lowercase and for example if i'm using the question box symbol you can see that it's really gonna be blocked because it will not match the regex symbol if we have a look closer to the regex definition we can see at the beginning the current symbol and at the end the total symbol so with the symbol the regex basically check every line of the input separately if any line match the portal will be considered as the match let's have a try to see what i mean if i'm using a new line so i'm using the question mark symbol again with this time a new line and a character that match the regex in this case just a and as you can see, this time the regex is valid, and that's only because if any line match, the pattern is considered as a match. With that, we know that with a simple new line, we are able to bypass this regex. Now that we know that, we can have a look closer to the ir.read method in Ruby. This method reads the entire contents of a file and returns it as a string. In this case, it will read the content of uh, the file, return it as a string, and will be contained into the content variable, which will after that be used to display the whole page, as we can see into the last line. Something else super interesting into the read documentation is that we can see that if it starts with a pipe characters, a subprocess will be created as the same way as kernel open, and the output will be returned. So if you don't know what a subprocess is, it's simple. It's a kind of separate program or command that your application stored in Polo to, for example, perform another task or execute a shell command. If we have a look to the kernel open documentation, we can see in this case that CMD is defined with open, which is similar to our case with r.read method in Ruby, and defined with pipe date. And as you can see, it will execute the date shell command, <laughs> which is super dated. <laughs> and now that we know how to bypass the regex and that we can create a subprocess, we're gonna try. So I'm using the pipe sample to create a subprocess. And I'm using cat slash tmp slash flag underscore with an asterisk because we don't know the file name.txt. 
a new line to bypass the regex and evolve the character that matched the regex. And that and we solved the challenge. This challenge was quick to explain, but it's honestly super interesting because it's super easy, as you probably know, to do some mistakes when you're trying to do some regex. Especially, for example, Ruby and Pearl or any kind of evil language in which it can be a little bit different. And yeah, Ruby can be a little bit weird sometimes. For example, the fact that you can create some supersets with pipe in Ayurved is a little bit strange, but super interesting for a case. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you have any kind of recommendation or if you want to see a new language into the winner, feel free to comment and yeah, if you liked the video, press the button like, see ya!